Okay, guys, I have some dreadfully awful news. The the day has finally fucking arrived. That uh, yeah, I uh, I'll admit I miss proc sets. Ugh, let's get into it. Okay guys, so before we get into today's video, I just want to thank everyone for supporting the channel. Yeah, I've been trying to do a lot of variety streaming and just kind of something different uh, of that nature. So I do appreciate the, the very few of you uh, that stopped by and the rest of you that has not unsubscribed from my channel. I greatly appreciate your services. Um, but uh, kind of back to ESO, like, I never thought I would say this guys. This is going to be more of a, a rant video than anything. I, I'm probably ESO's biggest advocate of just abolishing product tests, getting them out of the game. Um, it was really fun for like the first month, you know, a few weeks, whatever. Um, but the Cyrodiil just got so still, so quick. By removing proc sets, you completely unbalance the game. Some classes function better with proc sets. Some really don't give a fuck, and some are just completely OP with proc sets. So, um, just by flat out removing them and only having like 10 usable sets in the game um, was kind of a lazy move on Zoss's part. Um, like I say, it's pretty cool. It feels like a trial thing again, but uh, I'm a big, firm. Mag DK player, and I'm not gonna lie to you guys, trying to 1vx in open world on Mag DK without having a proc set is so difficult because you have to balance mobility and damage and sustain, and it's, it's just super difficult to do that. Like, if Zoss, like, I, I understand, like, don't get me wrong, I understand that the ring and proc, set, proc sets back, they're just gonna tweak them, you know, whatever, but I. It's still such a lazy approach, fellas. Like, proc sets really make this game, like, so much more fun and so much diverse. But it, it all comes down to proc sets ultimately doing too much damage. Your, you, your base character, even without any sets, any gear, just does too much damage. And ESO is the only MMO I have ever played to where... A player can take you from 100 to 0 in literally a second. And is that a good thing? Is that a healthy thing for ESO? I really don't think it is. Because it just promotes Zerging and just, just literal brain dead gameplay. Like, there's, there's nothing skillful about it. I just got called a hacker in chat, but, uh, um, there, there's just really no. No skill in ESO anymore, fellas. Yeah, I mean, in your 1v1s, I mean, there, there kind of is. I mean, don't get me wrong, there's skill out there, but the game's just been dumbed down so much that, especially for solo play, it's so unrelenting. Especially, like, when you're playing, like, a Mag Blade or a Mag DK, it, it is so difficult to actually have um, a decent, you know, 1vx. Yeah, I should have had, uh, another video ready but uh, I actually did not so let me minimize this I'm very unprofessional fellas I I apologize this was the second one but um yeah I I just don't I just don't know guys I I miss proc sets I'm going back to BG's like even on my streams going forward I actually fixed my controller finally I'm going to go back to BG's just because it's more fun um I I think I, I, w I wish I could work for Zoss. I really do, because I have so many ideas for this game that, that I just think that needs to be implemented. There needs to be more strategy in this game, not just blanket nerfs and all the skills doing the same thing, but they just look different, you know. Like class identity is really not a thing anymore, and it's just this game really doesn't feel too much like an MMO anymore. I love the combat system. It has probably the best combat system in any like open world environment I've ever played. I fucking love it. It's so good. It, it's just so unbalanced. <laughs> there, there's not enough incentive for solo play. Uh, this game just promotes Zergian, and that's that's it. Um, it just really takes the fun out of it. And th this game is such a diamond in the rough. It really is. It has so much potential. I just really don't think it's being utilized the, the way it should. Proc sets are amazing. Like, don't get me wrong, just as long as they're balanced and rolled in. So I really hope with the changes that Zoss is going to be implementing two proc sets by making the, their damage uh, 
based off of your maximum stats. Um, I really hope they do the tweaking right because that can still get out of whack. Um, so essentially what it's going to boil down to instead of running like three proc sets that are going to hit abysmally low, you're going to run a bunch of stat pieces and then you're going to have one stat set that's just going to hit really fucking hard, which I mean, I'm, I'm kind of okay with that. Um, but one thing I really do hope Zoss visits uh, going forward is the average time to kill in this game. Like Finger Rush, I ran into Finger Rush and BGs and um, like having a build that can literally 100 zero you and that's all it does. You just spend like 30 seconds getting your resources back and popping out a movable pause, which is super expensive anyway. Um, that's that's not skill. That's just just being a troll at that point. Just, just poor game, game mechanics. But uh, kind of enough on the rant there. The, the whole point of this video was to just say, yeah, yeah, guys, I, I miss proc sets. I never thought I would say it. And I want to try to do something like this every day for you guys. I will be doing a gold giveaway if you stuck around in this video this long. I will be doing a million gold giveaway to my subscribers and people who join in during the stream. So please uh, tell your friends, enable notification bell, subscribe if you want to be here for that. I'm going to do it randomly. Uh, just so I know you guys are subscribed. I want people who are actually subscribed and watching the content to actually get the donations I'm going to be handing out, not just some random blokes that join in on the stream, you know, just willy nilly. But uh, spread the word. Um, if you guys can, you know, get your homies in here. It, it's free gold at the end of the day. So, uh, with all that being said, uh, this has been Horcrux. It's good to be back, and I will catch you guys in the next one.